Hi there. My name is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss some uses for absolute value equations and inequalities. So first we'll deal with absolute value equations. Let's say that we have a function, we'll call it v of t, which tracks the velocity of, let's say, a car with respect to time. And it's given by some polynomial. It doesn't really matter. Where negative values indicate that the car is traveling south, and positive values indicate that the car is traveling north. Maybe it would look something like this. What we could use to represent the speed of the car, not the velocity, is the absolute value of this function. Where we take all values and make them positive. Like so. Where the red is the absolute value of v of t. Where in our original equation, a point down here might indicate that a car is traveling very quickly in a southern direction. But here, all that we care about is the speed that the car is traveling, which can also be a useful piece of information. Next, let's deal with inequalities. Suppose that you're an event planner for a conference and you want to know how much pizza to order. So we want a function for the number of slices of pizza, p, per human, h. Why not? P of H. But pizza ordering is not an exact science. You can't accurately predict exactly how many slices of pizza a given person will eat. So what you might want instead is to specify a range of the number of slices. So you might think that each person might have between one and three slices of pizza. So you can plot the line p equals h and we'll plot the line p equals 3h. And we know that all of the valid answers for how much pizza we want to order lie in between these two lines. Represented by this inequality. So for any given number of humans, h, we want to order between this value and this value, number of slices of pizza. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed some uses for absolute values and inequalities.